Hey there, fellow Potterheads! Today we're going to delve into some of the weaker characters in the Wizarding World. These characters might have had their moments, but when it comes to spell casting, spell control, and general power, they just couldn't cut it. So grab your wands and let's get started. Coming in at number five is Neville Longbottom. While Neville may have been brave, he was never the strongest when it came to spell casting. His spells often missed their mark and he struggled with control. However, he did eventually come into his own and played a crucial role in the Battle of Hogwarts. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down, Neville. People die every day. Friends. Family. Yeah. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. In here. So spread. From Remus. Tonks. All of them. They didn't die in vain. But you will, because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us, for all of us. It's not over. Next up is Lavender Brown. Lavender was never really a standout character in the series, and her spellcasting abilities were mediocre at best. She relied heavily on non-verbal spells, but even those weren't always effective. Ultimately, her weakness in battle led to her demise at the hands of Fenrir Greyback. <laughs> In third place is Vincent Crab. Despite being a member of Draco Malfoy's inner circle, Crab's spellcasting abilities were lackluster. He was often seen struggling to control his spells, and in the end, it led to his downfall. Crab accidentally cast a fiend fire spell that ended up killing him. Second on our list is Cormac McLagan. While Cormac may have been confident, his spellcasting abilities were far from impressive. He struggled with both spell control and aim, often causing more harm than good. His lack of skill was evident in the Slug Club Christmas party, where he accidentally poisoned himself. Thanks, your friend. Likes to work our mouth too, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this to meet him, Bobo? Dragon Balls. You've just bought yourself a month's detention, McLagan. Not so quick, Potter. Finally, taking the top spot for the weakest character in terms of spell casting, spell control, and general power is Argus Filch. While Filch may not have been a wizard, he did have some magical abilities. Unfortunately, he was never able to effectively use them. His lack of skill was often the butt of jokes, and he ultimately relied on his cat, Mrs. Norris, for help. 
And that's it for our list of the five weakest characters in the Harry Potter films based on spell casting, spell control, and general power. Did we miss anyone? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more wizarding content. Until next time, keep practicing those spells.